Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about the candidacy of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and his growing support in the Democratic primary field. Now I didn't make a video about this poll yesterday. It was about Marianne Williamson and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in this Fox News poll that was released yesterday. That showed a combined 28% for Williamson and Kennedy, which is an amazing showing. Now, we have another poll coming out of um, Emerson College that shows uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. now at 21%, a two-point increase, Biden at 70%, and uh, Marianne Williamson at 8%, about the same for Marianne Williamson. So now this video is um, just about Robert Kennedy Jr. solely and his path to the nomination and the fact that he is, in fact, a serious challenger. So, um, I said yesterday in this video that I made about this, um, I'm sure I said, um, I'm sure after this Fox News poll that shows a surprisingly competitive race, I'm sure that there will be more polling. And just the next day, Emerson College releases a poll, shows, um, oh, and additionally, what I said in this video was that, um, it was that in this, uh, you know, more poll, we need more polling in this race. We need to verify that this Fox News poll is, you know, getting it about right, is getting it um, in that range of, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, mostly there. And that is what this Emerson College poll has done. It has um, very much verified that there is support for Marianne Williamson and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in this race. So, um, I mean, this is big. Now, Kennedy and Marion have a combined 29%. That is an increase. But yeah, as I said, this video is going to be mostly about Kennedy and, um, you know, about his candidacy. So looking at Robert F. Kennedy Jr., he is very much an interesting candidate, an interesting candidate to say the least. He is an, he is a environment, environmental, sorry, why can't I say this? Environmental activist um and he really is basically an activist he you know campaigns for many progressive reforms but additionally he campaigned a lot during covid for no um vaccine mandate mandates no lockdowns and that is really where he stands out because you know most democrats obviously don't really have um the guts or don't believe in it um they don't have the guts to say it or they you know simply disagree with him so um additionally i mean he is just really out there i mean he said that Anne frank and he did apologize for this but he did say that Anne frank had it um better than you know had it was off i'm sorry why am I having so much trouble saying this? Um, he said that Anne Frank had it better than us during COVID, right? So he has said some um, out there things, and he ha and he did actually praise Tucker Carlson after uh, Tucker um, was fired from Fox News, or he left Fox News. I'm still not sure if he was fired or voluntarily left. I think he was fired. Um, but but as I said, he is more of a moderate, maybe conservative. Um, but in my opinion, there is, you know, there's liberal, conservative, there's moderate, there's, you know, centrist, moderate, and then there's those who are politically homeless, who have really liberal views, and then will praise Tucker Carlson, will, um, say Anne Frank had it better than us during COVID, you know, um, these outliers that, that these extreme, these far right outlier, um, ideas, of RFK Jr. that really do make him politically homeless. I mean, I would think that he is more of an independent than a Democrat. I would think that most people would agree with me there. But of course, um, with the two-party system and the duopoly that we live in, independents right now have a hard time winning the presidency. So RFK Jr.'s best shot is um, in the Democratic primary. And plus, then he, um, there's no risk of him splitting that Democratic vote, say he were to run as an independent in, in the general election. Um, there's no risk of him splitting that Democratic vote and Democrats blaming him for Biden losing, you know, four decades to come and essentially um, destroying that Kennedy legacy um, throughout the entire country. So 
as I said, this is a very interesting candidacy, and not really one that we have seen before. Additionally, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running a campaign against the establishment, against higher up political figures. That is、um, a main idea of his campaign: is to you know get corporate、um, political money out of the political arena, and that is something that. Really differs、um, from previous Kennedy runs, and I'm not saying they took corporate money or whatever. I'm not getting into specifics, but more of a in a generalized manner, Kennedy the Kennedys were establishment figures. I mean, if we're looking at、uh, John F. Kennedy in 1960, um, um, you know,、uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.、Uh, Robert F. Kennedy. Sorry, I'm sorry, saying Jr. in 1968,、um, he was a senator. I mean, a lot of Um, Kennedys when they run, especially Joe Kennedy,、um, he's a great example. He ran in in the twenty twenty Democratic Senate primary in Massachusetts, and he was very much seen as that establishment figure. So the point is that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running a very different campaign from his、um, from his relatives or you know、um, those who are deceased now, but、um, but he is definitely a very different candidate. Than John F. Kennedy, than his father, than Joe Kennedy, even even Ted Kennedy, really.、Um, so I just wanted to、um, bring that to light because this is not、um, a candidacy like the previous Kennedys, where you know those in the smoke-filled rooms are trying to get Robert F. Kennedy Jr. the nomination. This is really a grassroots movement, very much I feel to Eugene McCarthy in 1968. So.、Um, That has to be said. That he is very much an underdog this time, not an establishment figure, and、um, his candidacy is very, very interesting. Now, who is supporting Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? Well, um, um, I guess I will bring a personal story here. So, I do have an eBay store. I sell political buttons. I'm, you know, like、um, like a button you wear, you know. I、have a little message on it. I make those. I have a bun machine, and I sell political buns. And I have sold an incredible amount of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. buns. That's basically like all I sell now. If you look on my、um, on my sold items list, it is like like eighty five percent Robert F. Kennedy Jr. lately, and that is insane. So I mean, the point is, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with eBay. Um, it's old people. Okay, a lot of old people are supporting Robert F. Kennedy Jr. They are passionate about him. Why? Because they know the Kennedys. They remember Jack Kennedy. They remember RFK in 1968. They remember Ted Kennedy. So,、um, a lot, a lot of seniors, and I, I believe, are the driving force、um, behind RFK Jr. A lot. Um, because of his name,、um, not necessarily that they agree with him on all issues, but maybe they believe that、um, we do need a,、uh, you know, maybe a,、um, a new face in the White House, and you know, to continue that Kennedy legacy. So、um, I think that that is what、uh, a lot of people,、um, you know, are, of old people, are saying. So、um, also. There is Gen Z, the facto Gen Z. I mean, most of them are supporting Marianne Williamson, but I don't know. We do need more data, but RFK、uh, Jr. might be winning a lot of those people. So, looking at the primary, South Carolina is coming first,、um, and then second is Nevada, I think, and then I think it's New Hampshire, and then I think is Michigan. But look. Um, I, I'm not like getting into delegate specifics here. I'm just you know filling in the states. So Biden does have South Carolina、um, under lockdown, and you know what else is interesting? I'll say I am very interested to see、uh, RFK's performance among African Americans because you know in the 2020 Senate primary, you know I mentioned Joe Kennedy before. The voters he won, he lost that primary, but the voters he won were、um, African Americans and those who. Um, we're living in poorer, poorer parts of the state. So I would, you know, obviously RFK Jr. isn't Joe Kennedy, but it would still be very, very interesting to see if Kennedy has any support among African Americans.
In Nevada, that one could be close, but uh, Biden will likely win there. And then comes New Hampshire. Because this is the key to the presidency for RFK Jr. Because if RFK Jr. stays in the race, has okay performances in South Carolina and Nevada, heck, William Williamson, Marianne could be dropped out by now. But if um, uh, RFK Jr. could win the state of New Hampshire, that changes absolutely everything because now he is a very much a major candidate for president. And why is New Hampshire reasonable? Well, okay, there's a lot of reasons. Obviously, most notably, is it is a New England state, and that is where Kennedy actually could win some primaries, is in New England. Obviously, the Kennedys, you know, Massachusetts, that's their, you know, that's their thing. That's where the Kennedys are from, even though Kennedy, RFK Jr. launched his campaign in Boston. Um, voters in New Hampshire are very independent-minded, just like RFK Jr. Overwhelmingly white. I mean, I did mention African Americans, but I do believe that Kennedy, all of his support really will come from um, white people, and that's totally possible. So if he wins New Hampshire, you know, going into Super Tuesday, um, the primaries after, he will carry Maine, he will carry Vermont, um, he will carry Rhode Island, he will carry Connecticut, and even though the Kennedys are from Massachusetts, that one is debatable because it is such a democratic establishment state, but he could win Massachusetts, and then, you know, going down New England, he could win the rest, he could win New Jersey, um, not Delaware, but Maryland. Um, heck, he could go as far to win Virginia, West Virginia, you know, traditional Democratic voters in West Virginia, you know, you feel me? So, um, New York, maybe, who knows? So, you know, there's a, so much time to go, and, you know, this probably won't happen. But looking at these polls, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is in it to win it. He can win this election. Fox News poll was insane yesterday when he was at 19%. Now he's at 22%. The Emerson poll has guaranteed this. And by the way, Emerson is a very good poll, just saying. Um, one my, Someone just commented a little bit ago how Emerson was the only poll that said KD Hobbs would win in 2022. They were the only poll in the midterms that got it remotely close. So I needed to make a video about this because this man is a candidate for president, okay? Um, say what you want about Marianne Williamson. I believe she is too, or that, you know, she is at 8 or 9% or 10%. Um, but RFK Jr. is very much a candidate for president. So thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would mean a lot to me. Um, really helped me um, for my channel. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.